there are a few different signs that you're going to need some sort of shop management software to be able to help grow your business. Now, what tends to happen, especially as you hit different revenue clips, whether it's 100,000, 500,000, a million, 3 million, which by the way, those are amazing. So congratulations. Those are huge accomplishments. When you hit those, it's hard to be able to see around the corner as far as what you need next for the business to continue to grow and to make you the owner's life easier, right? What we've done at Printavo is, as you know, it is simple shop management software, but we work with a lot of different shops around, not just the few thousand that use Printavo, but also many more that I interact with, that I interview, that I visit all the time. And what I want to be able to do today is share the six different signs of when you need some sort of shop management software. It's interesting because this isn't just for a small shop, a medium shop, a large shop. There's so many in between that everybody is using some sort of, it could be carbon copy paper, it could be whiteboards, it could be Google Calendar, and there isn't gonna be a one fit all solution as well. Let's say you take three different shops, a very small one and a very large one, and it kind of in the middle there, and they're all printing the exact same thing. They're all going to have very different processes. And that's why you're going to use a collection of tools to be able to help manage your workflow. Let's jump into the core here. First one is getting a bit burnt out. Burnout is, is the symptom of usually doing too many things that you just don't enjoy over time. As a business owner, you, you know, you have to just do everything. That's how you get started. That's how you started poking around. That's how you started generating sales and you continue to do that. But at some point you can't do it forever. You're not going to be able to put in 12, 14 hours a day, uh, for, eternity. That doesn't even sound good, right? So when people start asking you the same questions and when you become this bike wheel, but you are the spoke inside of the bike wheel and every spoke is a person asking you a question, where are the shirts for this? The customer's asking for an update on this order. What happened to this person? Why, why aren't they showing up? All these types of things. That's when it's time to be able to pull you out of the center of that bike wheel and to be able to plop in some sort of system, shop manager, system to be able to help be the center of the business so that they can refer and go towards that system versus going towards you. That also helps create a lot more process, which we'll talk about in a bit. So getting burnt out is a sign. Now, I do want to jump though to the next part though, and that is making a process more efficient. Here's the big secret though, right? Technology isn't going to make a broken process work. You have to be able to create the process first. So once you spend time to create the process and you have a couple people doing it and you're starting to create a repeatable cycle here, that's when technology comes in to help make it more efficient. So tech makes the process more efficient. It doesn't fix the broken process. So once you start to work on fixing the broken process, shop management software is going to come in and be able to take that and create that repetitive cycle. So you're not constantly moving things forward. And that's going to be the collection of different tools. Now I'm going to drop a link down below as well. We did 20 plus tools that you can be able to listen in and to be able to uh, download for yourself to be able to help create that process too. The next thing is customer expectations. So every customer that comes to you has some sort of expectations about a bunch of different things. It could be when they expect the due date to be, how they expect customer service should, should be, how they expect communication about their order should be. If you don't meet customer expectations consistently and well enough, that's hurting your growth, that's hurting referrals, that's hurting just general inbound traffic. You need to be able to, to get started on some sort of shop management software to be able to help create really good, clean customer expectations and not just meet them. Your goal is really Really to wow it, right? And wowing isn't actually hard. Wowing, it just means that you beat it. And think about this. You ever emailed a, a company and got a response back in five minutes or so? Wow, that was amazing. That is beating customer expectations. Using shop management will help you be able to make sure you don't drop due dates, make sure that the customer's informed about where the order's at so they don't have to ask and wonder what's going on over the next week or so. Make sure that details aren't forgotten because those are entered in on the order. Make sure reorders are done quickly because all the details are in the first job as you reordered it for the second time and more. If you want to really grow. So 
Um, this is interesting, right? And, and growth, I would say, is a, an owner growth, and it's also revenue growth or profit growth. From an owner perspective, if you ever start to think about what you want longer term, like where you want to go longer term, in five years, how, how do you see yourself in this business? Is it just doing art because you love art? Is it doing sales because you think that's the most effective use of your time? Is it, uh, you know, I love printing and I want to be in production and, and focus there. I don't want to be in the business much at all, right? I want to uh, sell it or I want to you know, have somebody else run it day to day and, and collect a paycheck. Wherever you want to be able to grow to, if you want to be able to grow past where you're at today and you want to be more profitable and you want to deliver really good uh, uh, orders to your customers and have them be blown away, shop management is a piece of that pie of getting organized, getting efficient, getting that process so it's a very repeatable aspect. Now, what's kind of interesting is if you think about that five-year path, where you want to go, how do you need to get there, right? If you're here today and you want to be able to get there in five years, what do you need to get there? Is it people, process, technology? What are those aspects and things at play to be able to help get there, write it down, execute on it, right? And actually deliver on it. We get really stuck in the day-to-day. -day. I'm not going to go off on that rant, but that's a big component there. And the other thing too is, these aren't really secrets. Think about what a bigger company does. Think about a company that's four or five times your size. What do they do that help them get to that level, right? There's no secrets. They create a good process. They had a good sales team. They had a good process there. They had management. They, they brought in people to delegate things off so the owner wasn't doing everything right. The, their basic principles and software is a big aspect of that. All right, next up is approvals. Very detailed. If you have slow quote or art approvals, people aren't getting reminded or you need to remind them, uh, you don't think you're converting enough quotes to invoices from getting those approvals. If art, or, art is just sitting there and is becoming a bottleneck, it's a really good time. Specifically in Printavo, we've got a way to help automate a lot of that, send messages, send texts, send emails to help get those approvals done really quickly, let the customer approve it from their phone, have it documented too, so you can refer to in case there's an issue and have that all written down. Okay, and then last but not least, and this one kind of hurts to, to hear, but are you the bottleneck? I know I've been the bottleneck in a lot of different processes, you know, from running this, our, our small screen printing shop to, to running a software company, there are aspects of, okay, you have to do this job now to get it done, which transfers to you need to give this to somebody else to let them do it because you're slowing down the order flow, the process flow, whatever it is. If you feel like, and this takes a little bit of self-reflection and, ju and just being um, honest about it, if you feel like you are the bottleneck to a process and you could run faster if you were out of that process and if somebody else could do it better than you, again, it's time to bring in something else, a tool to be able to help delegate that off, to create that process again and let it be more efficient in the shop management solution. Hopefully that was helpful. Those are six different signs that you're going to need some sort of shop management software to be able to help run your business business. It's natural progression of your shop. It's exciting to see. I'm excited to be able to see it as well. If you have any other ideas of, of different pivotal moments of your business, please drop them down below in the comments below to share them with the rest of our industry. I'm Bruce from Printavo. Thanks so much for listening. We'll see you in the next video.